basic probability with set theory. We're going to discuss the definition of an experiment, sample space, event, and finally the probability definition. But in order to do so, we need to have knowledge of what a set is, a subset, and the cardinality of a set. A set is just a list of objects or things. Most of us have constructed a grocery list before. We may include milk, pork chops, orange juice, fish, water, bread, or cereal. This is a grocery list constructed by a mathematician. A mathematician would name the list with a capital letter, like G for grocery. And then the items like milk, cereal, bread, water, fish, orange juice, and pork chops will be written horizontally. This is a grocery list written by a mathematician. This is also an example of a set. the definition of a subset. That's a list of objects or things taken from an original set. So if we wanted to construct a set or a list consisting of all the drinks from our grocery list, this is what we'd do. We'd take the original grocery list and we remove the cereal, remove the pork chops, the fish, the bread, and what we have left is a list of drinks that include the milk, the water, and the orange juice, and this list was constructed from the original grocery list. The list of drinks is a subset of the list of groceries. A mathematician would describe this list this way. Capital letter D equals milk, water, and orange juice. This D is a subset of G. It was a list created from an original list. The definition of the cardinality of a set. That's the number of objects on your set. If you've ever counted the items on your grocery list, you've determined the cardinality of list G. This is functional notation. N of A equals the number of objects on list A. Your grocery list has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven items are on the grocery list. N of G equals 7. Recall the drink list. D. Milk, water, and orange juice. There are three items on list D. N of D equals 3. What does this have to do with probability? Well, actually everything. It's the essence or the foundation of probability. The definition of an experiment is any process in which an observation can be made. This is sort of arbitrary and abstract because observations are made in very many different ways. Observations can be experienced. They can be felt, they can be heard, they can be seen, and they can be tasted. For example, if you toss a coin, 
you can make an observation from that process. If you have a child, this is also a process in which an observation can be made. If you have two children, this is also an example of an experiment in which an observation can be made. You can roll a die and observe outcomes. You can pick a card from a standard deck. It's another experiment. And you can pick a marble from a bag of marbles. Observations can be made from this experiment as well. Go camping at Yosemite. That can be thought of as an experiment. And going swimming in Maui can also be considered an experiment as well. The definition of the sample space that is the list of all possible outcomes for an experiment. We denote this list or set with the capital letter S. For example, if you toss a coin, the set of all possible outcomes or the list of all possible outcomes that exist when you toss a coin, you can toss a heads or a tails. That means the sample space will have two outcomes, the heads with the tails. If you have a child, having a child means having one child. For this experiment, the possible outcomes are having a boy or having a girl so that the sample space will consist of the two outcomes B and G for boy and girl. You can have two children. The sample space here consists of various outcomes. Let's take a closer look. You can have two boys. You can have two girls. You can have a boy followed by a girl. That means the boy was born first and the girl was born second. You can also have a girl followed by a boy. This outcome means the girl was born first and the boy was born second. Consider the sample space. BB, two boys. GG, two girls. BG, boy born first, girl born second. And GB, girl born first, boy born second. This is a sample space when you have two children. the list of all possible outcomes. When you roll a die, there are six outcomes. You can roll a one, you can roll a two, or you can roll a three, or a four, or a five, or a six. When you pick a card from a standard deck, a standard deck is a deck of cards in which you have thrown out the jokers. There are no jokers in the deck. This is known as a standard deck. The sample space is any one of these cards. There's 13 clubs, 13 spades, 13 hearts, and 13 diamonds. You can 